Hello and welcome once again to yet another quick tutorial. And what we're going to do is create a nice scene. In the previous video, we did for daytime, and in this one, we're going to do a night scene. So, uh, this is a project I did for a client, and I want to use this uh, as um, a sample or an example to create it out. So, we have here a street lamp, and then some area lights will be within this uh, uh, building. Now, what that's going to do is going to help us to illuminate the scene once we've set it up. Now, the setup is going to be similar to what we did in the outdoor lighting, with just some few minor changes that we're going to do. And if you have not seen that video, I'll leave uh, the end card at the top right here so you can check it out. Now, to quickly jump in, whenever you want to start uh, making or setting up your outdoor uh, lighting under your shader editor, what we're going to do is going to bring this up and normally it's set up to objects so let's say i select this object the materials for it shows up but if you always want to edit the environment what how it's going to light up we always come to the world so with the world we have um, an environment linked to background and to the world output and if we switch over whilst in cycles so if we switch over to our viewport shader you see the standard uh, uh, HDRI connected and illuminating the whole scene. Now, one other quick tip, when you want to work with light sources that you have set up within your scene to really work out well, a lot of times, if you're not careful, when you come to your world output, the ambient occlusion might be on. Now, this helps with a bit of lighting, but if we're going to set up our night scene, this will be a real troublemaker. So always do check under your world properties. Make sure the ambient occlusion is also off so that whatever lights we create within the scene is what's going to light up. So as I said, we have these lights in here and then we have some lights in the building. Now because we have the scene set up with all these, um, you're not going to see how it's going to illuminate the scene. But what we're going to do now is... Um, we're going to start, you know, inputting our info. Let me quickly switch over so that the machine doesn't get too slow. Over the, let me switch back to the, the normal uh, viewport shader. So what we're going to do here now is um, we're going to unplug all these guys and start afresh. Now, as we did in the previous one, we will need our mix shader we will need our background environment we're going to need our mapping and we're going to need our texture coordinates so we have uh, these bad guys in the scene now let's zoom in to quickly have us a proper look at what's going on so our texture coordinates to have control of it, we need to use the object connected to our vector. Then the vector connects to this vector. And color maps to our background. Background maps to our shader under the mix shader. And finally, to our surface. Now, it's just going to be the same thing, but what we do have here now is we will be able to now change the, um, the settings for the environment texture using the mapping so you can change the location, the rotation, the scale, much to how we would prefer it. So, um, yeah, like uh, the previous scene, um, this is just... Uh, the old one that we did now quickly we're going to jump into our night setup and i'll call back again the sky texture and uh, switch off the sun disk now we'll pull in our color and also to make sure that the lighting source from the environment is going to be the same 
with the sky texture so this sky will not shoot here with it's no light and then the environment will not shoot its own so with the vector we're going to also connect this also to the vector so that way we know for sure that it's we're all going to use one um, lighting direction for everything now now that we have this we're going to turn our our scene into a night scene and the way to do that is uh, we'll switch over and get ourselves a nice hdri for for this to work so now um it looks good but i don't like the way it has these mountainous things well we could still leave it like that and maybe rotate it around. So let's say 160 degrees. Turn it around. Uh, okay, let's try 180 degrees. And I think this also over there doesn't make it realistic. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch it over to 20 centimeters below the horizon. So we have that push down, and then we have more of the sky. Maybe let's go with 25 good so we have more of the sky now so this helps us and finally to really push this out we're going to switch from the Sheeta to Kosek or Wilkie 2012 and we have our night scene so with our lights we can actually um, turn our scenes and so basically you can add in more lights over here and you get your light scenes uh, to show. Now, um, in our incoming tutorial, I will show another quick tip of how to combine both a day and night scene in one file. So you can work with um, the daytime within this very scene and if you want to, you can switch over to the night scene also. That way, you'll be able to work with the same uh, file on different uh, scenarios. And maybe in the future, we'll learn how to actually animate from daytime to nighttime. I think that'll be a very cool effect to do. Let's say you want to do a real world um, uh, simulation. That would also be a very nice uh, effect to pull out. So this is just a quick tip on how to create a night scene and i hope you enjoyed it but before we go let me just quickly uh, render this out and see how it will come out so we have our mlm i'll switch to optics for nvidia graphics card and just check our resolution yeah just for a quick one let's set this to 65 percent and we'll do a quick render So there we have it, um, a quick setup for a night scene and in the next video I'm going to show you how to keep uh, both this night scene and the day scene all in one file so you can quickly just switch in between uh, day and night so you don't have to save each one as a separate file. So um, thank you and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.